Massachusetts Institute of Technology. All right, let's go. Right now we're walking in the Gillian Court. This is where students come sunbathe or they host a lot of events here. And what you see behind me is actually the most recognized view of MIT, the Great Dome. This is where the engineering library is and where a lot of the laboratories are. So we're gonna go check that out, let's go. <laughs> Admissions office right here. This is where uh, hopefully we can finesse a degree into MIT. So the best thing about MIT is that there's so much IQ concentrated in one area. And that's what's happening down there. Today they have like a science fair, uh, end of term project basically. It's a showcase of what have they done for the whole semester. There's just so much sharing of knowledge. I love it, I love it. So right now we're about to enter the Dome Library, which is a famous engineering library. All right, we gotta be quiet, so no talking. All right, so right now we are actually entering Stata Center. This is basically like the magic castle of MIT. All right, like come walk with me. So Stata is actually home to the labs for computer science, artificial intelligence, and information and decision systems. So a lot of research is done here. This building is probably like the most unique looking one. I call it the magic castle because it's like yellow and it's like round and everything. Oh my god, this is amazing. Look at this. Wow, this, this would be a good Instagram photo right here. This building is just filled with these like inventions basically. So most people don't show you this during campus tours, but during our campus crawl, I'll show you this. This is a typical classroom, a seminar room at MIT. Come on in. All right, it's pretty simple. Basically, just table and a whiteboard and a big projector. You know, classrooms are all the same, no matter where you go. So we just came out of the Stata building. MIT campus is huge. There's like 30 to 50 different buildings. Now, we'll show you the media lab. Do like a 360 around me. This is the media lab. It looks like a modern museum because it's actually infused with the List Art Museum. What do they do here? There's basically like 25 different research groups that work on like 350 different research projects. Everything from how children learn, neuroscience, electric cars and stuff. It's very cool. And at the bottom, it's free for anyone to enter. It's kind of like a museum. I think the Media Lab is honestly probably the coolest part of MIT because this is where all the learning comes into reality in terms of these projects. People create stuff here. They're utilizing their knowledge. And that's what I love. All these things are so freaking cool. I feel inspired being in this place. The best part about MIT is it's right beside the ocean. You get a whole view of Boston. So when you're tired of coding or building robots, you can just come for a light walk. Today's truly beautiful. So it's downtown over there, as you can see. It's the downtown area right there. Oh man, this is beautiful weather. So MIT is actually open campus, but it 
feels like an enclosed community. It has that campus feel because everyone here is either professors or students and Chinese tourists. <laughs> but Chinese tourists, they're mainly in the main building where the dome is. That's literally a bunny on campus. That's so cute. I don't know, can't. No, bunny, no. Now we're in the McDermott Court, which is named after Mr. and Miss Eugene McDermott, which made a lasting contribution to the arts at MIT. Because as you can see behind me, that's called the Big Sale, or in French, it's called Le Grand Vol. Excuse my pronunciation. It's 40 feet tall and 35 parts. The parts were created in France, but then assembled here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. This is just one of many sculptures at MIT because in addition to the sciences, they also care about the arts, design and practicality. And that's how you create a good product. So I met a friend, Ingrid. Hello. You lived here? I lived here junior year, yeah. Wow. What was dorm life like? Um, dorm life, so there's like west campus and there's east campus side dorms. Yeah. Um, and so this is itself, it's called east campus. I used to live in that dorm and then I lived in this dorm. Yeah. East side is kind of like counterculture, I guess. So it's like much more artsy. Oh, okay. And then west campus is more of what you think of when you think of like your stereotypical. Uh, dorm life. So this is more years. chill? Yeah, it's definitely much more chill. So you guys didn't have crazy parties here? Um... Uh, where, where are you going? Are you <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Can I see your ID, please? ID. Oh. Oh. Hopper University. Alright, no worries. The big man told me you're coming. Alright, thank you. Thank you, oh. big man. Alright, come in. They thank don't you. really look at you. Should I still look in this room? Oh, I nice. Painted this. You painted that? Yeah. Holy, that was amazing. Right, you can paint whatever you want in the outdoors. So cute. Hello. Oh. <laughs> I don't think animals like me. The rabbit ran away from me too. Oh. Wow, that was a long tour, but I think every part was just as exciting as the previous. Oh, comment below what your favorite thing was and something that you learned today. Well, I am from Hafu University, exchanging at the top universities in the world with Campus Crawl. I hope you come along and crawl with me next time and uh, click subscribe if you want more of these videos. That's it for today. I'll see you at Harvard next time. Peace.